Hello everybody! Welcome back to another rare mini boss spawn guide here on Borderlands 3. Today I am back and we're going to be heading over to the Splinterlands to cover the first of two rare mini bosses in this map. We are starting off today with the Road Dog. He is a rare mini spawn boss which can be found in a Cult of the Vault camp pretty much in the middle of this map. So, as always with these guides, I will let you guys know everything you need to know about this guy, how to find him, exactly where to go to farm him, respawnable points, etc. As well as his legendary and unique drops, if applicable, and then a little bit of trivia about him as well. So, without further ado, let's start off the guide and we will go at the beginning with how to get to him. So you want to head over to the map, the Splinterlands. There are two fast travel points to this map. We're going to be starting off by going to the main entrance to the Splinterlands here at Pitts Stop. Uh, if you want to go from the other fast travel point, you have to uh, progress over there and unlock it first. Uh, but it really doesn't matter because it is pretty central location. So it's about the same time to get to uh, him. So you're going to want to head to this area right here. It's a bandit camp right in the middle of the map. Uh, just opposite of where I put that um, waypoint is where we're going to be actually going to respawn. Um, so yeah, basically all you've got to do is head to uh, the bandit camp. Just basically get a car from where you are, drive straight on and then head to this middle section right here. There is the exact spot of where we're going to respawn in at. Uh, on our second run and then it's just a case of running down to the camp to actually get to him if you want to go from the other side there is the fast travel point over there and again it's just pretty much a straight drive so uh, you can't go wrong either way so yes let's go and start this then so right from this um, fast travel point you can just go ahead and get a car like I said just follow the road it leads you all the way to it right here on the right hand side you'll see a big building as you head into this area there is the save point right there make sure you hit this and you'll be able to respawn here every single time and then it's just a case of running down this hill and going slightly to the left to the main entrance of the camp um, and then once you're in the camp just stick to the right hand side enemies will spawn in so you can take them out if you want or you can just run straight to the road dog uh, he will appear in this metal crate just here once you get quite close the doors will burst open and he will come out he is a goliath type enemy so he will um, evolve every time he gets a kill he will go from raging to super raging mega raging ultimate raging and godly that's providing that you actually take his helmet off and expose his head so we we'll treat him as all goliaths anyway take him out if you don't get anything you can simply quit out come back in and you should respawn if you've hit that spawn point right at the top of that hill which i have just done now and then it is just a case of running down and going back to where he is which is just about there anyway let's get on to the drops then he drops three things in total um the legendary splatter gun is the first thing that we're going to be looking at right here um i managed to get this about two three runs i think it was really really quick so it is a legendary iridian artifact um it will boost um, shotgun damage while sliding as well as a couple of other things the next thing to look at is the legendary red line shotgun um this is a torque shotgun here is what it looks like it has a splash damage shotgun and then finally we're going to be moving on to the final drop which is probably one of the best ones um, that he actually drops and it is the legendary hellwalker shotgun which is really really good as well so this is it dropping right here i think the hellwalker took me 13 runs to do in total again it's another jacobs shotgun incendiary and pretty powerful really as well so all three drops are pretty good but I'd definitely say that the Hellwalker is the best out of the three of them. Uh, the Red Line isn't too bad, to be honest, either. It's just nice that he drops two shotguns, but then also a class mod, um, sorry, artifact as well, that will actually uh, boost shotgun damage um, while sliding. So, uh, yeah, you can get a good bit of kit from this guy. Anyway, a bit of trivia about this guy. Road Dog is actually a reference to the Road Hog. He is a character... Uh, in Overwatch, a bodyguard and an international criminal who is infamous for being an unforgiving cutthroat with a destructive and cruel nature. Uh, and if you actually look at a picture of Roadhog or you play Overwatch yourself and you know the character, you will see that they've done a pretty good job of making this Goliath uh, here look like him. It's also worth noticing 
um, as well, mentioning that he will kind of drag you in with his uh, little uh, attack. It kind of like shoots something out of you and pulls you back in. Also, he does regenerate his health on evolutions as well. Um, so be aware of that. Make sure you uh, kill him pretty quickly. Anyway, guys, that's everything you need to know about the rare mini boss spawn of the road dog here in the splinterlands like i said this is one of two um, rare mini bosses in this area just to the right of where i am now is princess tarantella 2 she will be coming in the next guide anyway check out the link in the description for the playlist for the rest of the rare mini boss spawn guides uh, they will all go in there and i will see you guys in the next one